for your DSTV installation using DSTV Explorer decoder, you need and you must have a smart LMB. Smart LMB come out like this one with three uni cable. Why uni cable? And the uni cable produce what we call user band. What is the need of user band on our installation? especially on our extra view if you don't have a smart lmb you can use your dstv multiple switch why dstv multiple switch because this dstv multiple switch will still produce you a uni cable and on these two uni cable we still come out with user band and that user band is very important for your installation, especially when you are using extra view. Okay, guys, if you want to share the cake with me, I will invite you right now. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe and share. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you're going to be aware about the publish of our video every week. Guys, are you ready? Let's do and share. Yeah, we do this every day. We wake up, we go to the customer, we lock the customer, we follow the customer, we go and deliver. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel, the channel of technician of satellite the channel of technician of electronic, the channel of entrepreneur, the channel of business people. Guys, you are in the right place, especially if you fall on this category. Today, I want to share a cake with you before we go through our tutorial. Guys, listen this in French. Enfin, un jour, papa me dit Fiston, tu vas rentrer le soir Et à ton âge, il y a des choses qu'un garçon doit savoir Les filles, tu sais, méfie-toi C'est pas ce que tu crois qu'elles sont toutes Belles, belles, belles de jour en jour Belles, belles, belles de jour en jour Comme j'ai dit à ta maman Tu lui diras l'embrassant, tu es belle, belle, belle de jour en jour. Mon cher ami, il n'y a rien au monde de mieux que les femmes, que les femmes. <laughs> I wish you could understand, but in the end, I was saying that there's nothing better in this world than women. There's nothing better in this world like a woman. Do you agree with me? <laughs> Guys, my name is Afonso Foko. Today we'll be talking about our LMB. I was trying to tell you in the introduction that we actually need a smart LMB to connect our DSTV Explorer decoder. We need the smart LMB because the smart LMB produce the uni cable which our explorer need to work with okay we actually need to have a dstv dstv uh, switches for explorer because this dstv multiple switch produce also a uni cable but the very important thing which i wanted to let you understand is that when you do the installation with your smart LMB, you have to be aware that the uni cable output on your LMB need to be set with your user band and the different endings. Why you need to use the user band? Because the user band is the frequencies who allow you to link more than one DSTV decoder explorer together. If you don't know how to set your user band, you're going to have one of your decoder link on extra view crashes. I meant one gonna switch it off, one gonna 
switch it off and reboot it waiting and say to you that e48 error message to make sure that you don't have that kind of trouble you have to set or you have to do the configuration among your decoder and to do that configuration among your decoder you have to set your user band i just want also to let you understand and to let you know that when you see a multiple switch or a smart lmb when you see a multiple switch like this one or smart lmb who got on his output the uni cable each uni cable here got a user band and user band like i said to you is some certain frequencies who allow you to do the software on your decoder who allow you to do the viewing of your decoder and then who allow you to do the record on your decoder so you agree with me that if we don't have a user band the software of our decoder will not work the record on our decoder will not work the viewing for that decoder will not work that's why we use a smart LMB. smart because in those days we usually use cable to link to decoder and to make the heartbeat he got the heartbeat inside himself in this LMB. meaning that when we got three one two three because i just said to you that one unit cable like this must have three user band must have three user band for you to be able to make the software work on your decoder to make the record work on your decoder and to make a viewing work on your decoder that's why on the configuration you have to set three user band if you don't have those three user band in one decoder you're not going to record you're not going to view and then you're not going to make the software of that decoder to work properly each uni cable here we got one two three each of them got three user band so this one come out with three user band this one come out with three user band this one come out with three user band so we got three plus three we got six six plus three nine so this lmb go out with nine user band capable to connect three explorer okay and then we got a multiple switch like this one who got two uni cable output two uni cable output meaning that we got three user band here three user band this one can connect only two explorer decoder now when you connect your explorer to your smart lmb or to your multiple switches you have to go to the setting and set your user band five if you got three decoder connected on this smart lmb you have to set nine user band the first decoder will have three user band the second decoder will got three user band and the third decoder will have three user band because they are all explorer remember explorer need three user band to work but if you are having let's say a 5x decoder 4x decoder a 6x decoder hd that one just need a software and then user band for view that's why you're gonna see the smallest doesn't need three user band it need only two user band because for viewing and the software user band is very important on your installation when you hear that the technician say we're going to do the configuration of your decoder if you don't do a proper configuration of your decoder what's gonna happen is that when you put all the two or three decoder on one gonna say to you that is it doesn't have a signal one decoder will may not have a signal or one decoder will go off and reboot it again because it doesn't have a proper communication so i'm just trying to bring your attention to understand that if you are using a smart lmb on your installation 
and then you 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 are using a dstv explorer decoder either one or two or three you have to bear in mind that your configuration must be well done you must respect the user band and the type of user band the index of user band you are using on each decoder i'm going to give you a timetable of index and uh, user band remember user bands is a certain frequency you, you need to give to each decoder to allow the communication between them so let's say on your primary decoder you can use index 0 1 2 and then you're gonna see the frequency of zero and the one and the two below the description or if you open a new lmb box like this you're going to see inside the box of your lmb a a paper who giving you a table this paper give you the table of of your index and your frequency so when you open your box of your new LMB, check this paper and then you can see the table of your frequencies and user band. Your first decoder can be 0, 1, 2, follow with the frequencies. The second decoder can be 3, 4, 5, follow the frequencies. The third decoder can be now 6, 7, 8, followed by the frequencies. Guys, it's very important to know how to do the configuration of your decoder on extra view. If you don't, if you fail to do the proper configuration of user band using the smart LMB or using a multiple switches, if you fail to do the configuration, you're gonna have a problem with your signal. You may be thinking the installation is not good. You may be thinking the cabling is not good but the problem will be only the configuration. So I'm trying to let you understand that you must learn how to do your configuration, which is very easy. You go to a menu and then you're gonna set the configuration according to the number of decoder you got. Do not use the same frequency in the, two, in the same decoder or the two decoder. Each decoder must have his own index and his own frequencies. Like I say, if you are using the primary one, preference to put it to 0, 1, 2. The secondary can be uh, 3, 4, 5. The third one can be 6, 7, 8. You will see the frequencies of each index on that paper in the box of your LMB. If you don't know, you can check the description on this video i'm gonna list down there all the indexes and all the frequencies this thing is very important otherwise you're gonna have a stress in your house not having the proper picture or having the picture who's coming and go or having the decoder who's going off and on off and on so guys you may be thinking your decoder got a problem while the problem is only the configuration so be aware that you should do a proper configuration on your installation if you don't know how to do that configuration you can call us we can easily give it to you uh, free the configuration table we can tell you how to do the configuration or we can come to your house on the call out fee and do your configuration the configuration on your extra view using the LMB or using a multiple switch is very, very, very important. And then you should be aware about it so that you can save some money in your pocket and then you can limit your stress by thinking your installation is not good or by thinking your decoder is not good. Guys, like I always say, if this video is helpful for you you know what repeat myself by telling you to subscribe and share and hit the bell of notification for you to to be aware about our important video we upload every every week guys we are probably going to do some video by showing you how to set it 
on the TV screen. But today I will just let you know that it's very important to know how to do the configuration between your decoders so that you can have a good view of your DSTV. Thank you for watching. My name is Alphonse Foucault. Thank you for watching. Uh, I believe we still have a long way to go on this channel. And then if you believe on my world, keep and remain on this channel. See you next time on my next video. Thank you very much.